Hey there, Joel Sander, Domingo, PCMag.com, here with the Intel Compute Stick. So you dropped 150 bucks on this thing. What do you do next? Well, this is a PC and a stick. So first thing you gotta do is grab a monitor. Hey! <coughs> All right, so now that you've flipped your HDTV around, you'll need to find the HDMI port. In this case, it's right back here. And in most cases, you'll just be able to plug this right in because it's got an HDMI plug built into the stick. But in tight spaces like this, you may need to use the HDMI extension cable that comes with the unit. And you just plug it in, like so. So you've plugged in HDMI, you still need power. So it comes with an AC adapter, just like the one on your phone, and it plugs in pretty much the same way with micro USB, like this. So now you're plugged into power, but you're gonna need to interact with your PC. So you need a keyboard and a mouse, don't you? You can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combo, but we think the easiest solution is to use a wireless USB combo, like this one from Microsoft. All you need is the USB dongle, and plug it right in to the full-size USB port on the compute stick. So the compute stick only comes with 32 gigs of storage. That's not a lot. You can supplement it with cloud storage over the internet, or you can grab a micro SD card like this one and plug it right in for up to 128 gigs more storage. So now I've got it all hooked up. All I have to do is hit the power button, sit back in your couch, grab a cold one, and you're on.